The story of the death of Elisa Lam is a case that has captivated the public since it happened back in 2013. Because of the mysterious and unusual circumstances surrounding the tragic incident, it's no surprise why. While a lot of people think that the cause of her death was due to something easily explainable, others think that there was something more sinister responsible. On January 26, 2013, Elisa Lam, a tourist from Canada, would arrive in Los Angeles, California. Two days later, she would check in at the infamous Cecil Hotel. Even though she had initially booked hostel-style accommodations at the hotel, she was eventually given her own room by staff when her roommates complained about her odd behavior. More incidents of her odd behavior would be documented in the days to follow, including Elisa leaving notes that would read, Go home and go away, that would be directed at her roommates. Days before her disappearance, she would even be escorted off the premises by security from a live taping of a late night show in Burbank. On February 1st, the day Elisa was scheduled to check out of the Cecil Hotel, her parents in Canada had not heard back from their daughter, someone who had frequently been calling them with updates regarding her trip. After a police report was filed by her parents, it soon became apparent that Elisa had gone missing. Even with the help of the local authorities and the media shortly after, Elisa's whereabouts were still unknown. But it wasn't until a security video from an elevator was shown on the news that the case would really grab the interest of the public. On the roughly four minute video, reported to be the last known sighting of Elisa anywhere, it showed the young woman acting bizarrely. Because of how odd she was behaving in the video, more and more of the public started taking an interest in the whole ordeal. But, despite the sudden urge and attention regarding the missing woman, there was still no breaks in the case. Unfortunately, it wouldn't come until other guests in the hotel started experiencing something that would eventually turn out to be horrific. Some guests at the Cecil started to complain of low water pressure in their rooms. Others would complain about the discoloration of the water, with a few of them actually reporting the water to be coming out of the faucets black. Some poor souls had even reported the water had a disgusting taste. Due to all the complaints, a maintenance worker was eventually sent to check on the water tanks that sat on top of the roof of the hotel. But, upon opening the hatch of one of the water tanks, the maintenance worker would make the gruesome discovery. There, floating naked, staring up from the water, was Elisa Lamb's dead and decomposing body. The authorities would eventually determine that she had been dead for a while considering the amount of decomposition and bloating her body had undergone. After an autopsy, the cause of death was eventually determined to be an accidental drowning after Elisa had fallen into the water tank. With Elisa's diagnosed bipolar disorder and depression, as well as the medications she was taking at the time because of it, it's easy to see why the official report made the most sense. Her odd behavior during the days leading up to her disappearance only strengthened the idea that she had most likely gone through a manic episode before her death. But despite the official report, that didn't stop the public from providing their own theories on what they thought actually happened to the poor girl. Because the Cecil Hotel is near a rough part of Los Angeles, some think that Elisa Lam was the victim of a homicide. But with the autopsy report showing no signs of trauma to the body usually associated with murder, homicide was unlikely to be the cause. Some conspiracy theorists, though, claim that the person or persons responsible for her death might have worked for the hotel. A few have argued that the elevator video seemed to be edited in an effort to conceal the identity or revelation that someone did indeed interact with Elisa before her death, but there is still no evidence to back up this theory. Others, however, have suggested something more out of the ordinary. Some people claim that Elisa's death was due to something supernatural. While the mysterious factors surrounding her death are already spine-chilling by themselves, part of what makes them even more eerie is the fact that the circumstances involved closely resemble the plot of a Japanese horror film that came out several years before. In the movie, a character in the film had experienced issues with the water coming out of her faucet before discovering the dead body of a girl in a water tank on the building's rooftop. But, despite the uncanny similarities between Elise's death and the horror film, the dark and bloody history of the Cecil Hotel is enough to be the basis of a horror film in itself. Aside from the many suicides and murders that have taken place in and around the establishment, a few of the hotel's previous residents have included serial killers like 
Jack Unterwerger, and the Night Stalker Richard Ramirez. It is even claimed that one of Los Angeles' most infamous murder victims, Elizabeth Short, also known as the Black Dahlia, had stayed at the hotel before her death. Because of the Cecil Hotel's haunted past, it's no wonder why some think ghosts might be responsible for Elisa's death. Elisa's strange behavior during the elevator video only helped to support the theory. During the elevator footage, it looked as if Elisa had been talking and interacting with someone that couldn't be seen on the video. Some speculated it was because the individual was someone or something paranormal. Some of the same people also claimed that Elisa might have conjured up evil spirits when she was partaking in a ritual called the elevator game. In the game, a person would press a series of buttons on the elevator to activate the appearance of a ghost or transport themselves to a different realm. And that's exactly what some think Elisa is seen doing on the video. So is it possible that Elisa really did become the victim of the supposed many ghosts that inhabit the hotel? We may never know. Regardless of what was the cause of Elisa Lamb's tragic death, what is clear is that she is now just another part of the Cecil Hotel's dark history.